505 Gaming Girl back again for all of your video game news. This week, I have a lot of stuff to talk about that's pre-E3, so let's dive in. So, I don't know if anybody knows, but I was browsing through IGN's page, and they have a lovely little, I guess, uh, list of expected games to be coming to E3 this year. I will have the link in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. The ones I am most looking forward to are Ukulele, uh, Dishonored 2, possibly Watch Dogs 2, and Pokemon Sun and Moon, and Pokemon Go. Duh. Huh. But this is all we kind of have a feel for so far, um, as far as hidden games or stuff that Microsoft, Sony, whomever is going to announce. I'm, I'm still kind of in the dark about a lot of it, so until they announce the games, I won't be talking about them. So I guess we'll have to wait until E3 comes out. Um, one thing that I think is really funny that's coming to E3 this year is virtual reality porn. You heard me right. VR porn is going to be making its debut with Naughty America this year at E3 2016. When the Oculus Rift had come out, they had talked about being open to making virtual reality porn. but. Naughty America is kind of making their first, as the first, to ever hit E3 with VR porn. And they will have their own booth and demo set up for any of you perverts who want to go see what all the buzz is about. <laughs> um, Bungie, for all of my guardians, they are going to be having a little announcement of their own coming June 9th. They're going to have a little conference and it's going to be talking about... Um, a little bit of what's going to be going on later on this year as far as big updates as well as the next big threat that will be coming to our worlds, to our, our consoles. And I'm really excited because this deep overview is really going to give us more than just a glimpse of what is to come and what Bungie plans on doing with the game thus far as we continue on through year two. So. I'm super excited. I hope they elaborate more on the Rise of Iron because it looks like a really cool update and the fact that it's going to be as big, if not bigger, as Dark Below and House of Wolves, I'm extremely excited. We've been needing something massive for a long time. Crimson Doubles, really cute. But it just, it, it, when is SRL going to come back? If it's ever going to come back? I kind of wanted to come back just because it was fun, but I also don't want it to come back because of my SRL Destiny t-shirt. I'm one of the few who has one! Woo! So, it's like a limited item for me. But I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what Bungie's got to say on June 9th. It'll be at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so keep your peepers peeled, people! Um, one of the last things I would like to talk about are um, Grand Theft Auto online getting another massive update um i don't know what it is about massive updates but we're getting them and i love them so the new trailer for the further adventures in finance and felony <laughs> is gonna be coming out this tuesday june 7th and you bet your sweet ass i'm hopping back on grand theft auto online because i haven't had anything to do I don't have any money. I have chump change at like three mil. So there's there's really nothing for me to do, nothing for me to buy. I don't want to do heists with some fucking nobodies. I don't I don't want to do that. That's not what I want. So I'm really excited. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, please check it out here. There's a beautiful link that you can check it out. It's pretty sweet. It gives you a good little overview of some of the items and things that you'll be able to conquer with making your own criminal empire. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, last thing I'd like to just kind of touch base on are the PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live games this month, June, oh my God. So PlayStation this month got NBA 2K16, Gone Home, Electro, or Echo Chrome, blah, 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 Siren, Blood Curse, God of War, Chains of Olympus, and Little Deviants. Um, not a bad selection. I know people are kind of pissed off because NBA 2K16 is on the list because people just bought the game. I, I don't even care. I don't. I stopped people from buying Injustice l like two Christmases ago because I knew it was going to be free on Xbox. So, saving money. But whatever. I'm kind of partial to all those games that are on there. Nothing that really screams to me. 
And for my Xbox people, y'all have Goat Simulator, The Crew, Super Meat Boy, XCOM, Enemy Unknown, and Costume Quest 2. Not too bad of a lineup. Uh, my friend Emily has been ranting and raving all day about Goat Simulator and how it is just so incredibly addictive. So I might just have to download it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, guys, thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for whenever the E3 news pops up. If you want to have constant updates about all my crazy-ass shenanigans, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash 505gamergirl. Like it, subscribe it, love it, and as always, stay tuned for next week where the gaming never ends. See ya!